Welcome back to Boromhood. It is the first game of 2019 at the home ground at Arsenal Women and they face Chelsea Women today who I'm sure will back for revenge because earlier this season we beat them 5-0. Arsenal are still sitting firmly at the top of the table and our current goal scoring leaders with 47 goals this season and our top scorer is of course Vivian Miedema and I caught up with her to talk about how she grew up in football and how she loved the beautiful game. Well I started playing actually when I was five already. Uh, my dad always used to play football so I kind of rolled into it, didn't really have a choice and yeah all the like all my little friends like started playing football as well so that's how I rolled into it. I've spoken to some players previously before some of your teammates Leah and Beth and they mentioned that when they were younger all the players that they played with were boys as they were growing up is it the same for you or did you manage to play with girls as well when you were younger? Nah I honestly just played with boys like I really enjoyed it as well like I was always one of the boys like you felt really cool if that makes sense um I think it's just over the last couple of years that like you've actually got like the girls teams yeah. and the women's teams coming up but yeah I always played with boys love that and I think it's done me really well for like the player I am right now. In terms of development is you feel like it's a better way for you to to get to be the player you are today? Yeah definitely like I think it's been really important for me just to like play with the boys um, play on the highest level as well like I've just been lucky to actually get in that position and just to like grow as a player. So you've got a nice CV to your name, but we would love to know what was the first team ever that you played for? Uh, Hazard Fifi. Ah, and what age was you then? I was five. It was like I played there for like seven, seven years probably. Oh wow! Okay, of course you remember that. Yeah. <laughs> then I went to Fifi de Weide. Yeah. It was also a club team, like where I lived in Holland. Um, went from there to SC Heerenveen. Went to Bayern Munich, and now I'm here. What a, C no, what a CV though, those yeah. are some really top teams and now you're here at Arsenal, Bayern Munich, another top team. What has it been like the transition coming over here for the FAWSL? Uh, I think obviously coming from Germany, like the German league was really professional already. So like in that kind of way, the step here was just a really exciting step. Like I knew it was going to be pro uh, professional here. It's different football, I love the football here, I love the football we play at Arsenal. So it just kind of made me happier as a player on the pitch. If you could play alongside any male player, who would it be? Probably still Messi. I just think he's unbelievable. I was literally about to say not Ronaldo or not Messi, but still Messi yeah, is one of the... Messi, yeah. Like, he's just an unbelievable player. Like, if you really need to look at, like, a number nine, I'd love to play alongside Robert van Persie. But, yeah, Messi is as well, the, like, the old team player, I would say. The game ends 2-1 here at Boreham FC. Chelsea goal scorer Erin Cuthbert with two under her belt and our consolation goal comes from our very own Vivian Miedema. Time now for our post-match interviews with Joe Montemuro. We've added list of um, players to the injured list as well as Beth Mead now today. Do you think there's a added pressure to remain top of the table for the rest of the season? Well, look, I mean, uh, it's going to be a game-by-game -game proposition. We don't know who's coming back. We don't know when players are coming back. We don't know the severity of certain injuries. So we're just going to have to assess assess each game as it goes, and uh, and hopefully we can, uh, you know, we can put the team that we want to to keep uh, keep the the ball rolling. Yeah, look, start believing, start believing again. Um, you know, it's always difficult to pick pick a team up, and uh, look, we've, we've got to put it all in context. It's two games we've lost, you know, uh, and uh, yeah, it's uh, you know, in, in the in the amount of games that we're we're playing, three games in a week, also and with the thin squad that I've got, you know, it was always going to be a tough game. It was always going to be a tough situation, and uh, you know, I'm 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 happy that they found the extra energy, at least for the 20 minutes, to start believing again and, and maybe get something out of the game. Um, look, Reading's another proposition, a difficult proposition, and uh, we'll look at it and assess it tactically. And, uh, and see where we can go. So Ty, a disappointing result today. The yeah. girls came into it at the very last minute to try and get an equaliser. Yeah. How did you think the performance went? Uh, we didn't play well, but we, we, I think we deserved something. Chelsea obviously played well, but I just don't understand what's going on with refereeing. Because I was going to say this because you were very vocal in the stands. Like, where's absolutely. the card? Absolutely, jumping on the pitch. Or did this, you can't, you cannot act like this. Has professionals and players. You know, there was Chelsea. Um, there was Chelsea officials. The bench jumped on the pitch. I, I think it's ridiculous. The fourth official. You know, you got the Chelsea manageress complain, complaining to the fourth official when she's out of a technical area. You know, there's a there's a bad challenge on Karen, who I know. Bad challenge by Karen, who I know. Karen Con. I'm cool with her. Mm -hmm. But do you think that was a fair for us to get a yellow card? Because it, no, it, it well, I I didn't see the challenge. But if she's lashed out off the board, off the board's a red card because you're you're off the pitch. You know they got away with so much, and unfortunately that determined 
the result of the game. So you, you saw Beth Mead come off with an injury. That's another injury added to the list as well as Miedema, no, not Miedema, Daniel Van der Donk and so many other players that have been out for ages as Jordan Nobbs. Where do you think that leads us now? Do you think we can retain top of the table position or is it going to be a struggle from now on? Of course, of course we can. I mean, all the good work that Jordan, Beth, Daniel have have done is not cannot be cannot be wasted you know i mean like i said if the the referee does her job right then things change and i can't blame the referee I, you've got to have technology you've got it's, it shows the game is too big for one man or one woman to ref and the fourth official has got to do something yeah. because you know like i said they were moaning but i, I, I don't want to worry about them we're we're still top of the table and we have okay. to carry on absolutely and we have to carry on fighting to win it i still think we'll win it yeah. you know we should have got some they possibly you know but I, I, I still think we'll win it we have to we have to whatever happens we have to show what we're made of but I, I, I just think that um, you, you need technology. I keep on saying that in the men's game, I say in the women's game, you need technology. I mean, it's a fantastic crowd today. 3,000. Yeah, yeah, the biggest crowd of the season. You know, so, you know, hopefully it'll be one of the ones which see us hopefully win the league. Fantastic support from the fans. And then we come again against Manchester United. Man United. That's going to be a big one because this is our first time playing them as a competitive side because yeah, their right. first season. That's right. And their, their manager is a fantastic yeah, Casey. Ex, yeah, ex-Arsenal player. Who... Who, who with a hit with a hit to um, um, people that are here today knows how to conduct herself in a professional way, which some people do not. Emma Hayes. Chase. Oh, I, we're going I, I, straight I, I, down I, I, there. I won't say someone's name. Emma Hayes. Wow. No, it's true. No, it's true. It's true. No, it's true. I'm serious. No, you cannot. She's a very her. passionate manager. She's a passionate, and that's fine. But you cannot. The way she acted was unprofessional and disrespectful. And there's no need for that. And her, listen, I'm going to call her out. I'm going to call her out because she's called. She's called our team out. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to call her out. I think she's a disgrace the way she carries on. Thanks, <laughs> Absolutely. Her. Thank you, <laughs> Kaleshi. Mm. What a result, man. How are you feeling after that? Oh, very down, but um, it is what it is. Um, we only had four substitutes on the bench. We can even change it from the bench because the injury problems is uh, astronomical. But um, the girls tried one goal in and uh, I thought we were going to equalize. Um, Kim Little was unlucky towards the end. But it is what it is. And you say towards the end, they left it very late to get back into the game. Yeah, I mean, I think we're trying to go through the middle for some reason, almost throughout the game. And then all of a sudden, we remember that, oh, we could go through the flanks and we say getting the uh, good balls and then towards the end we changed it a little bit with the root one ball that's where it came a little yeah. got that chance you know so we could have mixed and matched it but i think uh, positives to take off from the game but again another injury to bet me you know quality player she's like yeah, yeah. our assist queen if we're talking about in comparison to the men's team she's like our Mesa Ozil yeah. so it's a shame to see her go it's going to be very hard for us i asked her the same question do you feel like it will be hard for us to retain top of the top of the league at the moment because we've been there from the beginning of the season yeah i mean no, i was there it's a life days hope we're going to retain it but we just need to get some players back uh, you know van der Donk is a very big miss as well so we just need to get them but yeah daniel carter's been out for the longest time I'm, i don't know i was just asking i just saw her and i was just asking her man, like just guess you just get back quickly please because uh, i mean the other day she posted a picture i could see the scars on her knee man like this sport is not easy you know yeah. it's not easy but again i'm happy to be here i came to support them um my first game in a while so uh, what a turnout Three thousand people that turned out to the women's game today yeah and it was life on bt as well so mm -hmm. yeah big up to the women's game and uh, hopefully to be up and up who's the standout player for you today um I think Kim tried to run things, you know, and she, she also got the assist as well, so she was trying her best. So I think I'll just, she just edges it for me, in my opinion. Yeah.